Hey, and welcome to another episode on the YouTube channel. So on this one, I'm just going to give you a uh, breakdown of the past week, how it's gone, what I've done. Um, and then following that, there'll be uh, some kind of before and after video clips of um, some pressure washing jobs that I've done this week. So let's jump straight into it. So it is Friday, the 1st of April. Um, at the time of recording, it's, it's about 10 to 3. Um, so I've literally got 10 minutes and I need to leave to go and pick up my daughter from school. Um, so I've finished for the day. Um, today I've done two pressure washing jobs. Um, so I've done two patios and also like a, a pathway outside the front of uh, one of the customers' houses as well for them. Um, and yeah, I think they've come up pretty good. I'm happy with the results. The customers are happy with the results and, and, and I guess that's the main thing, right? Um, so start with Monday, I went out and done uh, a few quotes on Monday for pressure washing, a couple of big quotes. Um, if they come off, then it'll be really, really good. Um, and then I did a window clean Monday morning as well um, for, for one of our regular customers in Wendover. And uh, then I was in Grendon Underwood um, for uh, the customer wanted me to do the, the windows. Um, and then she wants it done every six weeks, which is good. Um, but she also wanted the gutters cleared, the gutters washed on the outside as well, uh, the fascias and the soffits. So I spent about four hours at, at this particular job, um, but obviously the pay was worth the time that I was there and the, uh, the customer was really, really happy with the, with the after results. And so, so much so left us a, a glowing five-star review on Google, which is absolutely amazing. And that's all we want to do is provide a high quality service so we want to give the best quality cleaning that we can um, at an affordable price for the customer but it's a fair exchange for our time versus the effort and stuff that we put in and obviously the equipment that we buy um, Tuesday I'm trying to think what happened Tuesday uh, yeah Tuesday I had I think as well eight eight uh, window cleaning jobs um, majority of them were regular customers um, picked up a, a, another one off clean as well from uh, a customer's daughter so that's always always nice because obviously she you know the, the customer's happy with me so she's then recommended to me to her daughter so I picked up a, a one-off window clean there as well so that was really good uh, Wednesday I did three pressure washing jobs back to back um, a couple of patios and um, no sorry yeah it was three three patios um, so yeah again that was a really really good day um, when I look at the weather um, this is something that I try to do at least once a week um, is I look at the weather and I think, OK, what's going to happen the week ahead? And obviously, I know you can't guarantee it. So because I knew that Wednesday was going to be a pretty busy day with three pressure washing jobs back to back and I didn't know how I would be feeling as well. And I looked at the weather and it said that it, it potentially was going to be, you know, like minus one, minus two, something like that. Um, and it could rain throughout the day. So I thought, well, do you know what? Thursday, I'll take Thursday off. Um, obviously Thursday was the last day of the month anyway so I took some time off and, and, and did some kind of admin back end stuff that I needed to sort out um, and then you know weird how it works but but then it started snowing um, in Aylesbury one minute it was snowing and it was blowing you know like a real really bad blizzard uh, and then the next minute the sun was out and it was really hot and then like half an hour later it was then snowing again it couldn't make up its mind so um, I'm glad I didn't bother going out on Thursday uh, to actually do any form of cleaning because it just would have been an absolute nightmare. Um, but the one thing I did do on Thursday was I went and quoted a customer for a, I think it was like an 80 square meter drive. Um, and it's like, it's quite a big house, but it's got like two patio areas and then like a pathway and, and stuff like that. Um, so I quoted the customer and she wanted it done quite urgently. Um, she wanted it done before the seventh for a specific reason. And um, so I was able to accommodate that for her. She was happy with the quote, so I've booked it, that job in for Monday. So next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've got some pretty big pressure washing jobs. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Thursday, I've, I've got, I think it's about 10, 10 or 12 regular window customers. So yeah, next week's a really, really good week. Uh, and I'm actually off on Friday because I'm doing something else. But um, so I won't be, won't be cleaning on Friday. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's going really, really well. Um, thank you for all the comments and the support. I honestly really appreciate it. Um, I hope that people are finding value in this. Um, and, you know, all I want to do is just try and help other people by showing what I'm doing and what's working for me. Um, and, 
you know, if that can help someone else in return, help them grow their business, motivate them, whatever it might be, then then honestly, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So thank you for watching and I really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and leave me a comment below. And uh, if you've made it this far, then there'll be a short clip with a couple of before and after videos of some patios we've done this week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you. So uh, one patio down and uh, onto the next one. So um, I will flip the camera around and I'll show you this one beforehand. So quite a small one as you can see, um, but obviously quite a bit of moss and stuff in between the slabs. But nice, relatively flat, flat surface. Um, so we we'll use the surface cleaner. And, uh, and the turbo nozzle just to do the, the uh, edging. And uh, yeah, no chemicals, just water only. So yeah, I'll go and grab all the stuff. morning so uh, we're in Waterston and um, it's pretty cold windy you can see the fields so it blows straight over um, and we are on a pressure washing job so I'll show you the job now and uh, we'll see how we get on so as you can see this is the uh, the patio that we need to clean uh, not using any chemicals just water only um, I'm not sure how well this is going to come up obviously all of these uh lichen or lichen or wherever you base whatever you call it um but we'll see what we can do and it just goes down here and uh if we've got time we'll give these slabs a blow over for the customer as well just to clean those up make those look a little bit smarter so yeah all the stuff's out in the van uh, out of the van sorry and uh ready to go so I'll go and uh, get suited up and we'll get started. Okay, so uh, we finished this uh, patio. It's taken about two hours. Um, went over it with the surface cleaner and then had to go back over it again several times with the turbo nozzle to try and get up uh, 
as much as we could, showing the customer she's really happy with it. Um, obviously, something that I think is vitally important is customer expectations and, and having that transparency and conversation with the customer so that everyone knows what the outcome is going to be as opposed to the customer thinking it's going to be like brand new and actually it's not. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the patio and, uh, and then we'll get on to the next job. Okay, so um, it probably doesn't look amazing, um, but it looks 10 times better than what it did. And that's the, that's the main thing. Obviously on this, we use no chemicals whatsoever. This was just water from the tap. Um, there was no, no additives, no chemicals or anything used. Um, but I think overall it looks pretty good. Um, managed to do the, uh, the pathway. So that looks 10 times better as well for the customer. And uh, yeah, like I said, the customer's really happy with the end result. Um, the slabs have been down for probably about 20 odd years, the customer's lived here. Um, so, and she said, you know, they, they tried it last year at some point with a, um, like a, a domestic um, electric karcher. And uh, obviously it wasn't, wasn't touching any of those um, white spots. And obviously now, I mean, there's hardly any of them white spots left. Um, I don't know if it's lichen, lichen. I mean, you can see just on this one here, where obviously um, the white spots have come off, but obviously the, the slab is so badly stained that um, obviously it's now left white patches, um, where obviously they've, uh, they've come off. But, um, but yeah, overall, it looks 10 times better and the customer's happy and at the end of the day that's the most important thing as long as the customer's happy with the job done then uh, then i gave this quick uh, this wall a quick go over as well just to try and make it a little bit better uh, than what it did but yeah pack up now and uh, on to the next job so this one's pretty pretty standard pretty clean to be fair compared to the previous one it's not a massive patio um, but yeah again no chemicals and uh, see if we can give uh, give this a good clean up obviously there's bits of moss in between the slabs but yeah should uh, should come up quite nice hopefully and then we've got the front to do which I'll show you after um, doing the back first and then uh, go around and do the front after okay so this one is done so I I cleaned all in here as well for the customer and it just looks bad. But yeah, done the final rinse. It's come up really nice actually. Um, yeah, looks, looks pretty good. Um, the customer's not actually in, so I'll send, uh, send the customer a photo. But, um, but yeah, hopefully they'll be happy with this one. Um, it wasn't too bad, as I said in the previous video. Um, but, but obviously it was dirty, so yeah, needed a, a good going over, which obviously what we've done. So yeah.